Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave. My name's Alicia. In today's video, we are going to be ironically kind of using a whole face full of makeup of things that are not new. It's ironic because I'm filming this on New Year's Day. I didn't even think of that until I actually like sat down to film, but yeah. So when I'm getting ready, it is about 7.50 at night right now. Um, I've got a lot to catch you guys up on. I think the last time I filmed was Christmas Day. And on Christmas Day, we actually found out that my husband had COVID. I'm gonna go ahead and get started just because this is gonna be a super long, like chatty video, I can already tell. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit closer. All right, now that we're all up close and personal, check it out. I changed out my background back to my regular one, but switched it up a little bit and I like it so much better. The Christmas one, like, was just, I was over it. Um, but anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup, but it's like things that are like kind of my favorites. Some of them anyway, some of them are just like what I have right now, but most of them are like my favorites. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eye Base. Um, this is really like the only drugstore one that I have, honestly. So it's not like this is a favorite, but you know, um, I honestly can't remember what I think about it because it's been so long since I've used it, but, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to put this on. A lot of people really like the Milani one, um, like Emily Noel, who I love. She is one of the reasons, like, why I started filming just because, I don't know, I loved her videos. Like, it was always such a comfort for me and I was like, oh, that'd be cool if I could do that one day. So I was just like, why don't I just do that? Um. But anyway, the last time I filmed was Christmas Day. Christmas Day, we found out my husband had COVID. Um, now, my husband, I don't, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in a video before, but like a month ago, he was hospitalized as well. Um, he was, he has diabetes and uh, last month he had like really high sugar and had to be hospitalized and um in the hospital he got another disease which is called gastroparesis and basically that's like the nerves to your stomach do not work so you can get nauseous like constantly all day and um there's nothing you can do about it like there's no cure it's a lifelong disease you will just have flare-ups there is a surgery for it but you still have flare-ups and symptoms with the implant that shocks your stomach walls. So it's like, what's the point? You know what I mean? I hope that I post this. I'm going a little bit more in depth than I would have liked. So I may or may not end up posting this. I don't know. But um, anyway, yeah. So he had that the last time he got out, which was a month ago. And um, gastroparesis is awful. I think it's so much worse than diabetes like it is a terrible disease you also like you'll eat he would eat like three bites of yogurt and he would feel extremely full it, your digestion is just a whole lot slower um so I was reading about it this time like recently and um it's talking about like blending your meats and stuff and it's just like that in itself is no way to live and then you add the diabetes like having to prick yourself constantly to that and it just, it breaks my heart. It really, really does. I, I don't think that's any way for anybody to live. I'm going to try not to get emotional in this video. All right, we're going to go back to the makeup for a minute. Um, I need to go ahead and start with my base. So, y'all, foundations at the drugstore, like, there is no reason that you have to go and get a high-end foundation. That is one of the things that I always always loved at the drugstore now just being the collector I am I have a whole lot more or recently I'm collecting a whole lot more um high-end as opposed to low-end and that's not because of the quality though it's just because I like the packaging and you know certain things but anyway um all right we've got the Lord this is such a throwback L'Oreal true match with the pour out bottle who remembers this recently they were like taking these out of all the all the stores um i saw them um taking these out so it's just like 
they still sell this? I don't know. I hope they do. This is such a good one. Um, I have mine in shade N1, which is just a neutral shade. And then one that I absolutely love is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. And you would think with it being a BB cream is not high coverage. To me, I thought this was like medium to full coverage. It was so thin too. It didn't feel like I had anything on. I barely have any left in this. So I think I'm going to try to use this today and just kind of try to use this up and get it out of my collection. Um, then we have got, and there's like a theme here. A lot of it is L'Oreal. Um, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible, the Pro Glow, and the Pro Matte. Both of these are so freaking good. Love them. Um, then you've got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. That's another serious, serious throwback. And then another one that I love is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day. This is like a three-in-one foundation. And got like SPF I think it's supposed to be a primer foundation maybe that's the three things I don't know primer concealer foundation okay it is high coverage this is like my third bottle of this um I really really love this one as well but like I said I think I'm going to try for this clean matte BB I don't remember how much I need so I'm just putting some on my hand and we'll see how this goes um but yeah, so Christmas Day, back to my story, Christmas Day, I found out my husband had COVID. Um, I tested negative. He's had it, this is twice in a year that he's got it. And um, I tested negative both times, which thank God. But um, the, the COVID symptoms that he was having were very like mild, like they weren't bad. Um, but it did make his diabetes and more so his gastroparesis flare up. I took him to the hospital like a day after he started getting sick. He started getting sick like pretty constantly. Um, I took him to the hospital and they gave him IVs and well, fluids, you know, and um, released him after a few hours, which I thought was crazy. And then he continued, like, right time we got home, he got sick twice. And I was like, Kevin, we need to go back. And um, he didn't want to do that. And I t I've asked him, like, every hour, literally every hour, I'd be like, ready to go? Let's go. Um, but anyway, he finally decided to go. And um, he was admitted to ICU. And he, that happened on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Yeah, so yesterday. And um, because he has COVID, I can't see him at all. Um, he has no voice from getting sick. So even if I wanted to talk to him on the phone, like that wouldn't be good for him. And then his esophagus is all inflamed from getting sick. So, um... Yeah, I can't talk to him on the phone, and he's just sleeping in general, which is what he needs. Um, he, he had been getting sick for, like, three days before he finally went in and, like, actually was admitted. Um, and I'm talking about, like, every 20 minutes, so I wasn't getting any sleep. I know for sure he wasn't getting any sleep um, because, yeah, it was just... I'm sorry, I know this is, like, a super depressing story but I cannot like I want to film because it makes me feel better and I cannot like have something like that going on and not have like mentioned it you know um I just maybe some people can do that but I am not one of them <laughs> so but yeah he's in the hospital now and he's getting the help that he needs he's in ICU so that's like you know, they pay the most attention to you there. You have people constantly coming in and checking on you. They can see your vitals 24-7. They're outside in the window. Um, so, I feel so much better. Like, such a relief just knowing that he's getting the care that he needs. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and go into CoverGirl True Blend. This is the undercover concealer. And also, like check out this it's actually it's not the highest coverage now that I'm 
putting it on but I still think this is really good coverage like I like the way that this BB cream looks so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I have this in the shade classic ivory and that usually is the shade that I wear in covergirl stuff in general um my face is breaking out probably like from stress uh but yeah I mean just what a, what a mess you know and the bad part is that there's no cure there's like other than nausea meds there's nothing nothing you can do other than that implant but if you still have symptoms like why do you want something shocking your stomach you know um so I think that's like a last case resort all right I'm gonna go ahead and put on this uh, concealer so if any of you guys have you know any suggestions or you know anything about that because they really didn't even tell us that much about it when he was in the hospital last time I had to do a lot of research on my own um, but I know you know hospital staff is so overrun right now and they've got to be so tired so but yeah um that's how I brought in the new year. Um, took my husband to the hospital. He was admitted to ICU. They have him stable, so I'm sure that, you know, he'll be doing okay. Um, all right, sorry, I had to cut out a little bit of that. Um, they have him stable, and, you know, I know that they will take good care of him. It just makes me so nervous, like, not being able to, like, go there and be his voice for him, you know? Like, advocate for him. But, yeah, I feel sure they'll take good care of him, so. Um, but, yeah, that's how I brought in the new year, guys. Um, I hope that, I God, I hope that 2022 20, is so much more of a better year. Like, I just hope for healing and um health really uh because life literally is nothing without your health um and that is something that I've had to see firsthand and it's it's so sad okay for powder this is actually one that I haven't used yet this is brand new so I've got no this will be a first impressions this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I saw like one of those little videos, I think it was on Facebook, honestly, where they put this powder on and it was just like their pores disappeared. So we're about to check that out. It's got a little heart in there, it's so cute. All right, so I'm just gonna take a big powder brush and let's see. And this is in the shade, I've got the shade Light. I definitely always set my foundation like there are probably two or three foundations that I feel like I don't have to set. Honestly, I like my Flower Beauty powder better. Um, I think I ordered one of those. While Kevin was sick, like, that's something that I do whenever I'm, like, sad, um, is I sit around and, like, I buy stuff because I was so worried, like, I couldn't sleep. I was up, um, but I couldn't be in here because he had COVID and I didn't have COVID, so, um, yeah. I bought stuff, so we got some stuff coming that I'm gonna be filming. <laughs> Just a heads up, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I picked that powder back up. It's such a good one. It's so, it is comparable to Charlotte Tilbury, the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Powder, I believe it is. All right, but I do like this powder. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't look cakey at all. Um, it did set everything down nicely, so I do like it. Okay, so bronzer, we're going like way, way back. Um, this one looks so beat up. I'm kind of like embarrassed to even show it, but this is the Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and this is the shade 
Dolce de Leche. So there was like a setting powder on this side, which I completely used up. It is a really good setting powder. And then a bronzer on this side. They also had another variation that had more of like a yellow type powder on this side. I don't know if they still even sell these, but if they did, these were like $5 and they were so good. And you can catch Wet n Wild, like buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half at like drugstores like CVS or like Walgreens. I remember that's where I used to always shop for like my drugstore makeup was uh, those two, CVS and Walgreens. I could always get such good deals there. I used to really love Physician's Formula. Damn, did I even show y'all the other bronzer? No, I didn't. Um, I'm telling y'all, I'm so sleep deprived right now. Still, like, I still can't sleep. Even though he's in the hospital, like, I can't sleep. But, um, this is the NYC. Uh, this is the Smooth Skin. This is the Sunny Bronzer. Like, old school YouTube days. Does anybody remember the Sunny Bronzer? so freaking good i think this is like 1.99 or 2.99 or something like that if they still sell this it's so good i just i went with the wet and wild one because i'm going to be doing a more cool tone look today i believe so that's the route we're going but anyway yeah i was talking about i i would get physician's formula all the time from the drugstore because they had such good sales on physician's formula um but yeah, the Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer is so good too. The only palette that I, I only have it in a palette right now. And uh, I sound like fucking Dr. Seuss over here. Uh, I only have it in a palette right now, um, but it's freaking huge. So I never end up using it. And in general, Physician's Formula packaging was just huge in general. So like... Can we slim it down? I mean, like, look how slim this is. You know what I mean? Or look at this little NYX packaging. Like, can we get it? Can we get it smaller, please? All right. So there is that bronzer. I love this bronzer so, so much. Um, I've tried, like, the little e.l.f. one. It's, like, $2. That one is okay. Um, those two that I showed you, like, Wet n Wild, their face products in general are so good, which you will see. All right, we are going to go ahead and move on. I think the next thing I'm going to do actually is bronze up my skin. I'm going absolutely nowhere. This is just, this is for me. <laughs> All right, so this is the Wet n Wild. Um, it's called a shimmer palette. So I think this is actually supposed to be like a highlighter. I use it as like a bronzing highlight for my body. I love it for that. This is the shade Boozy Brunch. And again, this is something that was like, all over YouTube back in the day. Such a popular one if you are from that realm, that era. It's probably what, maybe like five years ago? Something like that. All right, so I just, I don't know. I love this glow. It just looks healthy. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this was like $5 as well. And you can use this on your face. I just, for me, I just remember it being a little dark. But it looks like it could work on me right now. Like, it doesn't look too dark. Um, but yeah, such a good one. So, when I say I'm sleep deprived, I am so sleep deprived. I said I was going to do my eyes first, and we sure did not. No, we didn't. So, um, I'm going to go ahead, before I do my blush, I like to see the eye vibes, you know? So, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of really, really good palettes that you can pick up at the drugstore. First off, these palettes from Wet n Wild are so good. Um, I would highly recommend those. I think they are like $4.99 as well, and you could get... 10 eyeshadows in there and then these little bite-sized palettes from elf are wonderful as well this one did come to me shattered um, but i have two of the variations this is rose water and this is uh, cream and sugar they have different colored ones like the green one um really really looks good i want to pick that one up for me as well um, and then there's another one that's like pumpkin spice or something like that 
but one formula that I love from the drugstore, probably like my favorite drugstore formula is BH Cosmetics. Their formulas are so freaking nice. Um, this one, I mean, come on. Come on now. Look at how just delicious that is. Is that not like fall in a palette? I freaking love it. I love like grungy, like mustardy type colors and these greens. That's like right up my alley. Um, but having said that, I have used this palette. So I think I'm going to try one that I have not used. And that is Love in London. I expect to love this one as well just because this formula is like perfection. If you see a color scheme in BH Cosmetics that you like, I'd say grab it because I, I have not been disappointed with BH Cosmetics, like period. So I think I'm going to go into this one. The other one looks so much more interesting though. Yeah, I guess I will go into like this little area over here. All right, the first color that I'm going to go in with is this one right here called Scone. Alright, now I'm going to go into the shade Big Ben. I freaking love this Big Ben shade. It's so nice. Just like this all over the lid into your crease. Like, that would be just a very soft, like, pretty moment. But yeah, guys, I hope that you're... 2022 is off to a good start and I hope you guys have a great 2022. I'm hoping that ours is a lot better as well. I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Piccadilly here which is also just a lovely mauve shade. I love the mauve. Oh that was darker than I thought it would be. I'm loving the mauves and like this purple in here. I think it's also lovely. Alright, so one other thing that I think we need to address is fucking Betty White. What the hell? What an icon she is. Um, me and my daughter watched a little thing on her today and what a work ethic too. I mean, I think she is just all around such an impressive like human being um such an impressive soul and character um I think we're losing like a lot of the greats like I, I definitely felt that one whenever she passed okay so next I think I am going to go into biscuits I'm gonna take biscuit on my finger actually and this is what she looks like. Oh, that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I wish I would not have gotten that. It was on the tip of my finger and got up in that crease area. We're going to see if we can remedy this. I've got a little bit of that scone color which was that first very first shade that I put down it's gonna look like I've got a black eye all right so that's cool um I'm gonna go ahead and go into a lolly which is this like bright shade right here I'm gonna pop this on the center it's like a highlight and then you already know we about to pop this on the center over here. I guess that'd be corner, huh? Okay. All right. Now, I think I want to, like, deepen this up a little bit more. So, I'm going to go into this shade right here, Posh. 
And I'm going to put that posh shade just right at my lash line. And I'm using like a little smudger brush. And I'm really like just tapping this on. But yeah, back to Betty White. Um, I think in honor of her, we are going to watch Lake Placid. We've been kind of most... I would say all of us in our in my family just like kind of like horror or like scary movies in general. And um I don't know. That's a fun one and it's one I haven't seen in a while. So many throwbacks in this video, you know? All right. Now we are going to go ahead and go to the lower lash line. I'm going to take that um, smudger brush again and I'm just going to go back into that shade Posh. And again, I'm just going to kind of dot this right here on the lower lash line. Actually, it's a little bit thicker than I would have liked. Um, and I'm going to go into this pencil brush. Alright, I'm going to go into the shade Piccadilly. Alright, and I am going to just run this all along the lower lash line here. I am now going to take some of Scone and Big Ben. I'm kind of mixing those together. I'm going to kind of tap that off. And I want to run that all along the edge of those colors. Just to really kind of smoke that out. Alright, and last off... I think I'm going to go into the shade Cheeky right here. And guys, I can so tell how tired I am doing my makeup right now for whatever reason. Just because I'm, I feel like I'm just being messy. I'm messing it up. But we'll see if it all comes together in the end. It usually does. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and catch up the other eye off of camera. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the eye look. Honestly, I don't really like it that much. After I did my, um, I put on some black liner, I did mascara, I did my brows, and after that I was like, eh, my eyes don't look bright enough, so I put some more highlighter on. Um, not highlighter, but some of this light color, some of Cheeky and some of Lolly. I put that on in the inner corner, and I think it's like too much now. But anyway, yeah. So, that could be user error, though. I mean, the colors performed really good. I think it was just me, honestly. Um, I'm not, like, not 100% right now. But, um, next up, we're going to go ahead and go into blushes. And for blushes, I've got so many that I love. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few. So, who is super old school like me and remembers the Milani, the rose blushes. This is the one in romantic rose. This again is something that like blew up on YouTube probably like five, six years ago. This is such a good blush. Um, and I kind of keep that one in that like clear display I have in my bathroom because I think it's just such a pretty one. Um, but anyway, Next up, I have got several from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild, that is one area that I love of their brand is their blushes. And these are great. I think these are like $2.99, maybe $3.99. I haven't bought one in a while. Oh, this is falling out. Um, but anyway, Rosé Champagne, Apricot in the Middle, and Pearlescent Pink are three of my favorites from Wet n Wild. And then I have got two that are so beat up. You are going to be able to tell how much I love them. This is the L'Oreal. This is the Paradise Enchanted like peach scented blush. 
and this is in the shade bashful i do think that they had a few shades of these like girl <laughs> i love this blush it is such a good one and honestly like when i was looking for stuff for this video i was so happy that i found that i'm going to keep that thing out now and use it and the same goes for this one this is the covergirl true blend blush and this is in the medium version i think there's like light medium dark so this is the medium i think they're all like the, sh the same shade or whatever it's just light medium dark but anyway again <laughs> love this one and this is the one that we are going to be wearing today um first off though i think i'm gonna go ahead and put on a highlighter now for highlighters two of my all-time all-time favorite ones and this goes for like drugstore or high-end these are two like bomb highlighters uh one of them is from wet n wild this is precious petals it is so good i'm gonna go ahead i'm actually gonna swatch it for y'all and again, I think this is like three bucks. So good. But this is the one that we are going to be using today. This is the Essence Pure Nude. And I have got a little highlighting brush here. Now you can see this was a baked product. So it was domed and you can see there is like a major dent in this thing essence is super duper affordable and they have some really great products um their uh mascaras are so good the lash princess bomb bomb actually i think a lot of their um i'm gonna try to not get this on my brows a lot of their mascaras are bomb um and then yeah i love this highlighter they also have some really nice like little single blushes that are like little circles those are so good too they got multiple of those um but yeah this is such just like a soft gentle highlighter this is definitely not one where you're gonna like glow from space but it just catches the light so pretty and i love this specifically with like cool toned looks i just think it's goes together so nicely and so affordable like you really do not have to go anywhere other than the drugstore to get some really really great makeup these days so all right Next, we're going to go into the blush, my super beat up one here. And this is one of the best blushes ever. I think this is probably like eight or nine dollars, maybe even ten dollars. Like I said, I haven't gone down the drugstore aisle to get makeup in a while. Um, just because I've been collecting, I don't know, packaging, I guess. Like I said, there are fantastic formulas at the drugstore in all areas. Um, I know, you know, back in the day, like years ago, their eyeshadows weren't great. Like literally Wet n Wild was like where it was at with eyeshadows. But now, I think you're pretty good to go. Like even like the Rimmel palettes, those are good. So, look at this blush. I feel like you can just like keep adding and adding and adding and it never looks too much oh I love it so much so much I forgot I forgot how much I loved it so yeah I definitely will be keeping these two out I would say out of all of them these two are my favorite followed by apricot in the middle and rose champagne these are bomb as well so so good you cannot go wrong with any of those that I just mentioned all right, and I don't think I even mentioned what I put on my brows and my lashes, but brows, I don't have anything from the drugstore currently, or if I do, it's like buried right now and I just did not pull it out. But I put on the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, and it's okay. Um, it's not as good as like the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. Girl, that one is so good. Um, also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise gives me such like, uh, two-faced better than sex mascara vibes. 
I'm pretty sure that's like a dupe for that. And next up, we're going to go into the lips. This is my NYX lip pencil in nude suede shoes. This is such a good one. Such a good one. Um, I probably don't even really need a lip liner, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright, so that's really just kind of like the color of my lips. Next up, we have got some lip products. Now, do not judge me. Do not come for me. Don't judge me for these, okay? I still have them, and I probably still will wear them. <laughs> They're super old, but I, they smell fine. They look fine, so I keep them. These are three of my favorites. I'm going to start off with my least favorite and then kind of like work towards my favorite. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. If you're looking for a fantastic lip gloss at the drugstore, these are so good. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. I still have that highlighter on my hand, but I will kind of swatch this over here. It's just like a nice peachy shade. Love these. They smell like a vanilla cupcake. Can't go wrong. They're like five bucks. All right. Next up is from L'Oreal, I believe it is. Yes, L'Oreal. This is number 800, Fairest Nude. Who remembers this? Like mine. <laughs> Y'all, I've held on to this. It probably would hurt my lips to put it on. I mean, like, look how low it is. But this is, I think this is my second tube of this as well. Um, it's such a gorgeous nude. And it works, somehow this works with, like, cool tone eye looks. It also works with warm tone looks. Like, it is the best, it's one of the best nudes. I'm not going to say it's the best because I, I'd have to look around. But, um... It's so good. All right. And then next up, you will see how much I love this one because it's all cracked up. This is the NYX lipstick in Thalia. And it is a cool tone, little dream. This is the one that we will be wearing today. And again, I think this is like, look at that. Stop it. It's so smooth. It's like, silky so comfortable oh I forgot I forgot I forgot how much I love it all right we are gonna go ahead and spray our face really quick and I'm realizing now I left two I left I left some stuff out um I meant to show you guys a few other things so first off is primers because I have been using let me show you what I've been using This right here. I never want to be without this. This is such a good, I know this is a drugstore video. But this is such a good moisturizer. I feel like gel moisturizers, bomb. All right, but because that moisturizer is so good, I, just, I haven't been using a primer lately. Um, I don't feel like I need to. So these I did pull out because I wanted to show you. First off, if you need to fill your pores, Maybelline baby skin is so good for that like pore smoothing this one's really really good if you want something that's more glowy this one reminds me of my becca the purple one i can't remember if it's the first light or whatever but um this is such a good primer and lastly is this one from l'oreal it is the magic lumi who remembers this primer Again, if you, like, watched OG uh, YouTube beauty videos, this, this was it. I, um, this is too old for me to use on my face now, but I definitely will still use this on my body, and I probably, that's why I brought this out today, because I was going to, but, you know, we ain't with it today. We are not all with it. Okay. All right, last up are some face setting sprays now i pulled out three of them um i'm not going to use this one in the video because 
you can't get this everywhere. I think you can really only get this at Ulta, if I'm right. This is the I Heart Revolution. This is the e.l.f. one. It smells so good. I know I've continuously been using this in my videos, but it is it's so bomb. I, I really should get some more before they're gone. Um, next up, this one is not actually my favorite, this particular one from Wet n Wild, but Wet n Wild in general does have like a little, I think it's like a photo focus uh, setting spray. It's like this big and it's like five or six bucks. That one is so good. But the one that I will be using today is from Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray and you just want to give it a good shake. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and set. It's got such a fine mist on it. Oh, I love it so much. Look at that glow. Do you see that glow? Mm. Mm. She's drugstore, she is. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. I know that um, this video started out a little bit depressing, but I can't be fake on here. I can't, you know, this filming is an outlet for me. I don't do this for money, obviously. Um, I do this because I enjoy it and I couldn't come on here and do that and have this like elephant in the background. So I just wanted you guys to know what was going on with me. And obviously like, because I might not be all there, um, filming for at least a little while. As you could tell, I feel like I was all over the place in this video. But if you made it to the end, then thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped somebody just in case, you know, you have something that's going on in your life as well that is difficult right now. You just have to keep pushing through it. I think that's like literally all we can do is put one foot in front of the other um no matter how hard things are on a certain day i think even making like the smallest little steps or progressions like that's what it's about and um yeah i hope you guys are all well um i hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already hopefully this video makes it up we will see but take care see you next time bye guys